Today's video is all about how you can switch your Elementor website over to the Popcorn theme. Popcorn is easily the best theme out there on the market for bloggers just to get back to what they're good at, which is blogging. Guess what? You don't get paid any money for your website just looking pretty. You get paid for getting words onto the internet, not for making the fanciest website with the most Swiss army knife type plugin possible on the market. You actually just want to make content and then get it advertised, get affiliate links in there, do all that wonderful stuff to make that sweet, sweet money. Use coupon code THEOPOP to get $15 off this seriously awesome theme. Let's dive into the video. Okay, so this is the website that I'm actually going to be creating. At the moment, this is the popcorn theme version of the website. And I'll actually show you what the main website looks like, which currently has the Elementor on. So as you can see, it looks very, very similar, except for this is the Elementor version. If I'm honest, it's a lot slower because it is in Elementor. And guess what? This website actually got hacked because the code that Elementor uses, they were able to exploit that and get themselves into my website. Luckily, my wonderful host managed to fix it, which is Spiderweb. If you haven't seen Spiderweb, you should definitely check them out. They're a great host. So I'm going to actually transfer this website from Elementor over to Popcorn Theme. Okay, so the first step to actually moving a website from Elementor to Popcorn Theme is to actually just uninstall the Elementor plugin. It's really that simple. So we're going to go to the plugins and make sure that that is uninstalled. Literally any plugin that has the word Elementor in literally uninstall. Okay, so I would un I would go ahead and deactivate these and then delete them once they're deactivated. Right, fantastic. That's actually done now. Now it's time to do the second step, which is change our theme to popcorn theme. Go ahead and go to the popcorn theme website. There is a link below and buy yourself popcorn theme. Use coupon code THEOPOP to get yourself $15 off your order. Once you've done that, now don't worry. Once you bought it once, you can use it on as many sites as you like. There's no additional fees. It's literally buy it once and you're done. It's it's yours forever. It's so, it's so, so simple. That's why I love it. I've currently got this on five websites. So once you've bought that, go ahead and download. Click the Popcorn 2 button. You can see that it's downloaded at the bottom there. You don't need to extract the files or anything like that. The zip file is absolutely fine. Go back to your website. Go to Appearance. Go to Themes. And then click Add New. Now click on Upload Theme. Now drag and drop that file to the Choose File section. Then click install now. Then it's going to say to you, replace the active theme. Yes, please replace it. Great. So that's now active. Now what you're going to face is an update. So two things you're going to want to do. First is first, you're going to want to scroll down and make sure that you've got the plugin installed, which is called Gutenberg. Now Gutenberg is needed as Popcorn uses this plugin to effectively allow you to edit your website in a really efficient manner. This is genuinely one of the best plugins on the internet from what I've discovered, and I'm really glad that Popcorn uses it. So make sure that is installed before you do anything else. Then I want you to go ahead and click on license. This is where you need to get your license to activate your Popcorn theme. Really simple. Just go to Popcorn theme account, log in, go to orders, click on view, and then copy and paste your license code into that section right here. Then click activate. Once you've done that, you just simply go over to the appearance, click themes again, and you should notice that there will be an update. Click on update. Now I've already done this, so I don't need to do it right now. I've already got the most up-to-date version of popcorn. Now, very simply, we actually get to edit the website and get back to what we're good at, which is blogging and making money on the internet. Okie dokie, now it is time to edit your site. Once you've installed the popcorn theme, you should have your basic website looking a little bit like mine looks right now. It looks really simple. This is great because the way popcorn works is it comes preloaded with a bunch of templates that you effectively just change to suit your style of your website. Popcorn is extremely customizable. This is just the default theme I've made some really unique websites 
and they're doing amazingly right now. The thing about popcorn is it's designed for speed and efficiency. So your website will be fast, which Google will like because it offers a better user experience. Okay, so to edit the site, very simply go to edit site. Now this is a gaming site specifically about World of Warcraft. So for me, I have to tailor the way that my site looks to my audience. So I'm gonna open up my main site, what it looks like before when it's in Elemental. So I can quickly always draw comparison and just go back to what it looks like before I kind of made all the changes, right? Okay, so that's what the site looks like. I know what I need to do. I just basically need to make this site in popcorn. That should be pretty easy. Fantastic. So this is the main page. Go ahead and click on the page and now we can edit it. We can edit everything from this screen. First is first. I'm going to remove this buyer's guide, advanced guide, beginner's guide, etc. because it's just not relevant to what it is I'm actually doing. So I'm just going to delete that. It could be relevant to you, but not to me in this instance. Second thing is I need it to look like this. I need it to be the dark theme because it needs to fit what gamers would like to read. There are, most of the time gamers are in dark rooms, so they're not gonna be wanting to read a white site which is too bright to their eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and just move my webcam so you can see perfectly. We're gonna click this circular button top right, and that's called styles. Then we're gonna change the style itself when we click browse styles we're going to change this to the dark chocolate style and this will just give the site a general nicer look for us so let's go ahead and save that fantastic now we're going to go ahead and change the colors of links so i'm just going to change the colors of links to a gold color because gold is going to be nicer for what my audience are going to want to see then for text i think text is actually pretty good as it is right now I'm going to leave that probably as that. The button, I am going to change that to gold as that's just going to work a lot nicer. Why does it say that? Oh, background is, needs to be gold. Oh my, <laughs> such a sausage. And the text can be actually black if I want it to be like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save that. Fantastic, we've got the, the style, the general style of what the website's going to look like. Now we can go ahead and add our menu in. First is first, I always like this logo here to be on the same page as the menu. So I will probably just remove that real quick. To remove this and remove pretty much anything in popcorn, it's super simple. Either you click the actual thing you wanna remove, then click the three dots and click delete, or you just click the blank space next to it and you press delete and it literally deletes it. Again, delete. Okay, now it's just the menu I want to see. So let's create the menu. Simply click on the plus to add block. And now we will just decide what needs to be added. First is first, I want to add a site logo. So it's actually on the same line as the rest of everything else. And I quite like that to be kind of substantial. Now we will go ahead and look for everything that's on here. So we got free guides, member guides. Okay, let's get free guides on here first. Free, oh, silly sausage, Theo. Now we need to add in custom links. We will look for free guides. And there we go, we've got free guides. Okay, now let's add in member guides. Now I can see that's all capitalized, but I don't want that capitalized, so I'm just gonna change that. Fantastic. Now we're gonna do our member sign up. And now we're gonna do our login slash log out. Fantastic, so we've actually got that all set up now. Now, if I want to add a sub menu, it's very simple. You just click add sub menu. And for this instance, I will add the sub menu and I'll just type in Discord. And that sub menu has now been added super simply just like that. Okay, so that's fantastic. That's all added in. Now we've got the menu just kind of sorted. If I want to add sub menus, I can do. It's not a problem. All this writing at the moment, I do want to change the color definitely because the color just isn't going to suit me perfectly. So I will go ahead and change that. So text would be a nice gold color. The sub menu background would be black or a dark gray, I should say. And everything else I'm pretty happy with. The sub menu text will also be gold as well. So when I go here, you can see it's pretty much the exact same thing. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now to change the hero. The hero is really, really important, and this is like part of your website, so you need to make sure it looks really good. First is first, I like it to be larger than it's actually default on. So to change the size of this, you just click 
the general group and say you just click in here and you, you select the writing, but that's not the thing you want to select. You can just literally click where it is you want to edit it. If you can't do that and you're not very good with where you're clicking, you can always just select this and it always selects the outer group. And you can just keep doing this until you get to the thing that you want you want to edit, which is the actual size of it. Now I'm going to do it again one more time. And now I've got the general full size block right here. I always change this person to 1,350. It works for me perfectly and that's why I like to keep it on. I'm going to do the same for the thing underneath as well and just change that to 1,350. Fantastic. Everything tends to be in size that way and just tends to work a little bit nicer. Okie dokie. So I need this to look exactly like this picture here, which should be pretty easy for us to do. So first is first, let's just change the image itself by clicking on the image and clicking replace. Then select media. As I've already got this media on the site, I can just select the media that it belongs to. So scrolling down, I'm going to find the picture that that belongs to. Fantastic, this looks like the correct one. Let's select that. Oh, that looks pretty good already. Really liking that. As for the writing, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Really simple, just like so. That's really nice. As for this writing here, I'm not going to have any catchy headline as I just don't need it, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. As for the buttons, we got a members guides and a free guide section. So let's get that edited right now. Members guides. And let's make that bold, control B to make that bold. Then change the style and we go to background. We can make that golden and we can keep the writing either black or make it white, whatever it is you wanna do, just change the text. And there you go, that would be like that. Now I don't like that white, so I'm gonna change that to black. I'm gonna change the free guides to brown. Fantastic. Now as for this writing, the writing is gold on my other site so i want it gold here as well because a lot of my guides are specifically targeted at ways to make money in game so we do really want to be orientating our content towards that now i don't like the fact that it's kind of above everything at the moment but we will sort that in just a moment okay fantastic that looks really really good so far now one thing i'm noticing that this content here is in the middle i want this on the side fantastic and i really like how that looks currently it grabs the attention immediately, it doesn't take too much page space up, and it just does the trick for what I'm looking for right now. So I want people's attention to go immediately go to the members guides and free guide section, which is what it's doing basically. Okie dokie, so the next part would be the feature post. In feature post, this is always gonna feature whatever post you've got selected as a sticky post. So if you don't know which post you've got, just simply go to any post you like, click on it, click edit post, and then if you've got this button here on the right side ticked, stick to the top of blog, this will always stick that post to the top, which is this featured section right there. It's up to you if you want to change that. I personally like it as it is. I think it's great. It highlights the attention to what I need it to look like. And if I just look at my website, it's looking pretty similar, except for I've got three posts here instead of two. I could change this if I wanted to, but let's have a look to see if it actually looks good. Now, it's only showing two because I've actually only got two posts selected as sticky. If I had more, it would show more. So I could just change this back to two and it will only show two once again, super easily, just like that. Now, if I don't want the writing to show here, I can literally just select it and press delete and that will delete the writing and just keep it like that. It's entirely up to you if you want to have it like that. If you want to align the text in the center, you can do. It's really up to you the way you roll with that. I'm going to press Control Z twice to undo those changes as I quite like them as it is. Now, there is one thing I do change every single time when I mess about with popcorn, and that is I like to change the pictures uh, to a size that's a bit better for this. So I usually change it to contains, and that way it contains the actual size of the image that I want it to show. And as you can see, that's kind of what you're left with in terms of a post. It makes it stand out a little bit more. It's whether you want it to be a larger post or not. The way it's designed is to be a bit smaller. So it's really up to you if you want to go for that. Let's just press Control Z to go back to how it was before. Okay, so that's how it looks like before. It both look pretty good. It's up to you what you do. Let's move down to latest posts. Now, first thing I notice is that the width of this is a little bit shorter. So I would like to make this a little bit bigger. 
Now you don't need to worry, all of this loads on mobile automatically and it looks great as well. So everything looks wonderful like that. I've changed the size to what I like it to be. And one thing I'm gonna change is the pictures here. Now to change these pictures to the actual size of the picture, it's really simple. You just select contains and then it will guarantee that that size of the picture will be contained within this latest post section. And that way you have the best amount. Now, one, one problem I always face is my writers sometimes write really, really long excerpts and it does my head in when they do this because sometimes you can miss it. So I actually change this by just selecting the excerpt section and I make this a bit smaller. I like to have about 30 words maximum in my excerpts and that way, you know, if they write too much, it actually gets cut off. And as you can see, if I take it down to 10, it gets cut off and make sure that it doesn't get too long. That's the main key thing for me. Fantastic. So on a whole, that's looking really, really good. Everything's looking nice. As for this button here, this button is a little bit off. So I need to make this a little bit bigger. Fantastic, that's bigger. And what I'll do is actually change this from red to a nice golden color and change the text to a nice dark color and change this to gold members guides. And very simply, if you wanna change the link, you would just look here and you press members guides. By the way, if anyone's ever having problems with anything regarding popcorn feel free to reach out to me i'm happy to help people it's enjoyable to me to be honest okay so the button is all done now go ahead and change the size right i've changed the size to what i need it to look like and this is where you get a decision here whether you want to keep the affiliate disclaimer or not this website in particular is nothing to do with affiliate links so having that would not be the best thing for me and it potentially here so i would probably change this to something like privacy policy and I will just cover that because I do need a privacy policy if I'm selling a membership service on the site okay and I would write you know some type of paragraph about privacy policy and I would have obviously link that to my privacy policy page as well explore our site this will just cover basically what's on there if you want to put links in here I highly suggest to put links in here site map i really like having an html site map if you haven't seen already i've got a video on how you can make an html site map but don't worry because popcorn already builds one for you it's really cool definitely check that out about us probably and about us is probably a good idea to have that in and then a free guide and very simply if you want to link that you would just highlight it and click link site map and as long as you've got a site map set up you can link that in if you want an about us you would just type in about us and so on and so forth. You just need to link it up. As for the about us section here, you can put anything you want in there. Just change it to what it suits basically you best. And again, I'm changing the theme here just to gold because I think a gold and darkness looks really good together. Those two colors look just really, really good. It grabs the attention and works nicely. One thing I would change here is changing this 22 to 23 as this is the year that I'm recording this and it works best. Okay, fantastic. So everything there is looking fantastic. We can go ahead and click save. Fantastic. So now let's change the main blog page for all of our posts. This is where, you know, you might have every single post. Usually people have like in their menu, a section that says blog. When people click blog, that's the page we're going to be editing now. So to get there, very simply, we're going to go to manage all templates. And this is gonna show us the page which has every single template that comes with the popcorn theme, such as the 404 error page. You can edit that in popcorn. Let's just middle mouse button to open a new tab. And as you can see, you've actually got this page here. You can change the picture to what you want it to look like. You can change the writing. Oh no, <laughs> you can put anything you want here. Just make it make sense basically. And then if we go back, we can change absolutely everything, the way your category page looks like, everything. It's so cool. Now, the blog page in particular that we're editing is this index page. That's the blog page. That's where it shows every single one of your posts in one place, which is basically the blog page. I'm going to change how that looks because I don't like the basic one. and I want it to suit my website in particular. Okie dokie. So the index page looks a lot like my front page and I don't want that in fact I don't even want the hero section on here so I'm going to remove that I'm going to remove the featured posts because I don't want that either I just want 
all my posts listed here, very simply. And I'm going to change this to all posts. That simple. Okay. Now from there, I'm going to go ahead and just change this to contain because I do want it to contain the actual images itself. So I'm going to click on the image, go to the right side styles, and then scroll down and change this to contains. And that's going to make sure it actually has everything in there itself. And I'm just going to remove that height section there so it just fits in a bit nicer. Okay, that looks really, really nice. Now, one thing, I don't like the fact it's only showing six. I wanted to show more than six. So I'm just going to select any block within this and then keep pressing the group section until it gets me to where I want to get to, which is the query loop. Okay, now we're at the query loop. I can go ahead and change display settings and change this to however many I want to show. In this instance, I'm going to say 15. You want it to have decimals of three because obviously there are three posts in a line. So that makes sense, right? So now this will show 15 and any that aren't being shown will be shown on this page nation and people can just click next page or one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to a thousand if you wanted to do that. Okay, so now going ahead and click save. Anytime that I have a blog page, that is the page that will be shown on that. Again, let's go ahead and click manage all templates. And this is where I'm going to edit the way that my posts look in both single post and single with sidebar. So I'm going to middle mouse button both of those and we're going to edit those up now. OK, so there's always two ways that you will always have your posts look. Either you will have it with a sidebar like we've got right here with the main content in the middle and then there being a little sidebar here. Or you'll have a single page, which looks a little bit more like this, where it is literally just a single page. OK, so now the way that the popcorn developers have set this up is so that it suits everyone on a whole who is a blogger, because that's originally what this theme was designed for was for blogging. Right. So it makes sense to have affiliate disclaimers as that is a, you know, a rule of blogging. You need to have an affiliate disclaimer if you have affiliate links. So if you want to keep those in, keep those in. I do, however, recommend changing the style of it to suit your blog post mostly. So the first thing I always change is actually, as always, I change the size and I go for 1,350. That just suits me personally, and I quite like the way that looks. Now, as for the About Us section, I don't personally need that, so I just remove that from my sidebar, and I just keep it relevant to what it is I'm showing, such as the search, which I quite like having the search in and the latest posts. The way that most blogs are advertised is you make most money from your sidebar. So it's kind of good to have it very basic looking because you've got to think there's adverts going in here as well. Now, as for the actual post itself, you know, you want your post title. It's up to you if you want your author, publish date, update date. It's up to you what you have here. If you want your featured image, you'd leave that there. If not, then go ahead and delete that. Oh no, I've deleted the inside block. Okay, that's fine. We can actually go ahead and select the group like so, and then just press delete again, and that removes it. The beauty of this is it deletes it from every single post. So when your post will load up, it will use the template rather than an individual style within your post. The difficulty with Elemental is you have to edit each individual post when you're using Elemental. With Popcorn, you don't. You edit one and it does it to everything, which is so cool. Now, affiliate disclaimer. This looks ugly. I don't like the way that this affiliate disclaimer looks. Brown is not my color. I can tell you that for free. So I'm just going to change this. I'm going to copy this affiliate disclaimer and remove that heading block. And then what I'm going to do is just put in that affiliate disclaimer in bold and that's it that's all i've done very simply change that now the coloring i will change the coloring to select this i can either click it or just select the group section which is this and let's click on style i'm going to change the background to either invisible or we can go for more of a gold look like so whatever it is you really want to go for in this instance i don't even need an affiliate disclaimer so i'm going to go ahead and delete that Fantastic. So when people get to my page, they will actually just see post title, post author, everything like that straight on the page. When I add images in, I add them in manually as I'm doing the post. I don't need to do it here. About the author, I do quite like keeping this, but I do like changing the style to something that's a little bit better for us on a whole. And I also like the size of it to be matching everything else. So I'm just going to untick inner blocks use with. And that will make sure everything fits in 
together. Fantastic. As for everything else, I really like how that looks. So I'm just going to click save. I'm going to go ahead and click on my main page. And I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna go ahead and click one of these posts to see what that looks like in the sidebar. Okay, so there we go. That's what the post looks like. It's, you know, it's got no featured image here. It's got all the information in the center and it's got the stuff on the side. That's cool, I'm happy with that. That does the trick. Now I want to change the single and it's pretty much the exact same way that you're doing this. You would very simply keep the featured image or delete it. It's up to you if you want to keep it or delete and you do the same for all the disclaimers. You know what you're doing from there. I don't need to show you the same thing I've just shown you. Now there is one other thing I wanna show you and this is mainly because so many of you are using Elementor. You may have built your pages using the Elementor page builder. This is a little bit more difficult and complex for you to change your posts into WordPress format. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. If you chose to make your posts using WordPress, then you won't need to do anything, it's already sorted. But if you chose to make each post individually using the Elemental Page Builder, that's a different case. Okay, so if you made your posts using this Elemental Page Builder, then things are gonna be a little bit more complicated for you. Not to worry though, we'll get to the bottom of it pretty quickly. So go to any post that you want to copy across and then quite literally just copy everything in that post into a brand new post. And all we're gonna do is actually copy it directly into a WordPress version of that post. So as you can see, everything's been copied in. It might look a little bit more simple. Just configure it to make it look good for WordPress. Once that's done, you would then change the template to either default, which is just a single or single with sidebar. In my instance, I go for single with sidebar. Now this is the really important section is you want to make sure that the URL matches what it is that you copied from. So whatever URL that is, this one here, you wanna make sure that this URL is the exact same on the new post. Then you will delete the old post so that it replaces it. Now, if there is an option to you to just edit it and convert it to WordPress, then definitely do that obviously as that will save you all the trouble right here. But if not, and you need to do a copy and paste jobby, that's how you do it. Just make sure that you, that URL matches the previous blog post. That way Google will know that it's the exact same thing. Just make sure the old one's deleted. On a whole, if you have followed the advice in this video, you should be on your way to having control of your website once again. I've helped many people transfer their websites from Elemental to Popcorn. And it's just so satisfying to see how happy they are when they make the change. They're able to actually edit their site. I was helping one guy who actually was paying 50 pounds for every single change he wanted made to the website. They were charging him a one hour's worth of work per change, even if it was a tiny change. When we got him on popcorn, he was able to take control of his website and actually immediately be able to use the theme at his discretion, which is awesome. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope this video helped you in some way, shape or form. If it did, remember to hit that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Theo Ramwell. Have a lovely day.